What a great effort by, by both teams. I mean, they had a long run. We had a run that wasn't quite as long as theirs, but, um, you know, it was blow for blow. Um, and then it came right down to the, to the very end and <clears throat> just was a great game. Thought it was a great game, just a battle. Um, you know, March is upon us. So you're going to get a lot of games where this is the atmosphere. This is the environment. This is the level of determination that teams are going to exhibit. And I thought, above all else, both teams had an, an incredible uh, level of determination um, in, in an attempt to win a game. So really proud of our guys for doing enough things to come out on top, handled some adversity, missed some free throws, got in foul trouble, a lot of different things. But, uh, but they did, we did what we needed to do when it came time to make a couple plays. So hats off to, to our guys for that, but obviously hats off to their team too for how they played. Questions? What did you think about the play by um, Davis there after they had uh, tied the game late? I liked it. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was nine seconds or so on the clock. Um, and I just, we had good pace as we brought the ball up the floor. Um, we had the ball in the hands of a good decision maker. Um, and, and he had played well today too. So anyway, uh, we, we had such good pace. I just was going to let it play out. You know, I was going to let it play out. Um, and... Uh, you know, sometimes if we get in that scenario and it doesn't look like we know what we're doing, um, maybe I'll call a timeout. But their defender was on his heels to some degree. Um, we had really good pace in that particular play. And then so I thought our ability to attack, maybe get free to the free throw line was a, was a good opportunity. And Michi uh, saw something late. Zach broke late and, uh, and, and he gave it to him right at the rim. So it was a great great individual tremendous individual play but but just as good as his pass was J Zach's um just the wherewithal to be right there at the basket uh in order to finish it what were you telling your guys uh for that very last play yeah uh, in guarding and and how much did it help you out that they had to kind of go to plan b yeah um you know I wanted to I wanted to keep the ball in front of us if so I, I mean I wanted them to catch it as close to uh, in the, as far in the backcourt as they could. Um, but I wanted to keep the ball in front of us and nothing over the top of our head. But, uh, um, you know, I don't know. Maybe it did. Maybe the play that they ran would have worked. Maybe it wouldn't have. You know, I don't know. I don't think it's worth second-guessing that. You know, it wasn't like we called timeout afterwards and made an adjustment based on their alignment or I subbed two guys in based on what their alignment was. And, you know, he's got a bunch of different things. He's got a bunch of different things, as you know. Um, so he went to he went to his plan B, um, and uh, and we were fortunate just to just to you know ball got fumbled a little bit and and we came out on top. You mentioned March. How much do you think winning a game like this will help your team as you go into the conference tournament and then the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I think it's I mean it's a tremendous help. Um, this whole but this whole this whole season has been a pretty steady march for our guys. If you really honestly think about it. I know, according to most, uh, the the wheels fell off uh, in the two game loss streak that we had. Right, that was the only, that's the only time all season that we've lost two games in a row. Um, so I think this whole season has been a pretty steady. Uh, uh, I don't know, like a preparation for us, um, and we've achieved and we've we've been resilient. We've had a bunch of close games. Um, this is another one, obviously, um, but it's nice coming down the stretch. We got a couple home games. It, gets, it seems like every game gets tougher and tougher as we move forward, and there's more on the line each time, and you start really looking at a conference race and all that kind of stuff. And so, um, you know, we try to just though we just try to focus on what's the next thing in front of us. It's been our thing. It's, I, we don't say that for any sort of lip service. Um, I think we're best served to do it that way. And the results have borne out that way. And so we'll continue to try to do it that way. You know, at, at one point, if we do enough, maybe we'll look up and say, hey, guys, you win one more game and you're in a tie for first place in the league. I don't know if it'll turn out that way or not. But at that point, we'd have that conversation. Right now, 
we got a team that's playing extremely well coming into our place. And, you know, we get back late tonight or early tomorrow, I should say. And we got to try to, you know, formulate uh, and tweak our game plan to try to, to try to beat them. When they um, got the lead, it seems like Michi really kind of, you know, he's one of your leaders, but he, he really kind of took, took over for you guys and like um, put the, had poise to make sure that it kind of, they didn't get it, get away from you guys. Did you see that? Um, yeah, I mean, he made some big plays. A lot of our guys did. Uh, we, uh, it just was such a great team effort, honestly. It was a great team effort. thought Zach Davis did some great things. You know, it's hard for me just to single a guy out that, unless numbers are gaudy um, at times. But uh, we just had a lot of guys. I think we had a lot of guys. Michi did some incredible stuff. He made some incredible plays, some incredible passes. He attacked the rim. He was shot out of a cannon on the one. He got an and one. I thought that was important. Zach Davis did the same thing and created. And Talon had a couple of great passes across court that created closeouts, and we were able to attack out of those. Um, we had a lot of guys. I think we had a lot of guys that did some really, really good stuff. So, as you know, we have a we have a team. We have a team that knows where our bread is buttered. And we know somebody probably is going to play halfway decent on it, and, and no one cares who that guy is on any particular day. How special was it to see Evo score a basket? For yeah. The oh, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a – man, what a great moment for him. You know, I'll just talk about that a little bit. <clears throat> He's had so many struggles in, after coming here last year, tearing his Achilles, and it wasn't a garden variety Achilles tear. It just ended up having all these complications. So it didn't look like maybe he would ever play, potentially. And um, so he started off, he tried at the beginning of the year, and just things weren't clicking. He couldn't – he was having a hard time also. He was a different player. He couldn't move the way that he was used to moving, the way he's been moving his whole life. Um, and so he, he was – you know, he decided he wasn't going to play. And then so when he came to me a few days ago and told me that he was going to make himself available, uh, I was happy. I just was really happy um, for him. And then so to put him in the game and then for him to go out there and attack the rim and get fouled and make it was uh, was really special. It was really awesome. This is That's the most – those are the things, right? When it's all said and done and my career is over one day, I'm not sure if I'll remember this game other than I'll remember that that was the game that, that happened for that young man. So, thanks, Coach. Thanks. Thanks.